Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. In this video presentation, we'll be looking at Proposition 7 of Book 8. Now this proposition states, let's assume we have a sequence of numbers, a set of uh, continuously proportional numbers, such like a is to b, is b is to c, is c is to d, or of any size. And this statement says that if a, the first element, measures the last element, d, or s1 measures the last element, sn, then it will also measure the second element. All right, so if the first element measures the last element, it also measures the second element. So let's prove this, and we're going to prove this by contradiction. So we start off by assuming that A does not measure B, or that S1 does not measure S2. And by the previous proposition, Proposition 6 of this book, if A does not measure B, then A does not measure D, or the first element does not measure the last element. But we are starting with the idea that A measures D, and here we have a contradiction. So if we have a contradiction, that means that our initial assumption is wrong. So the assumption B does not equal QA was our original assumption, and it does not hold true because it introduced a contradiction, and thus A measures B, or S1 measures S2. And thus we have shown the proof of this proposition.